Hello, hello, it's me, Charlie Lunny. <laughs> I can't stop doing this accent ever since I played the game. <laughs> the more I do it, the worse it gets. It just... Anyway, hi, hello. I wanted to make a video to kind of just sit down and chat because as I was doing the God of War series, I, I didn't really want to interrupt that. I, I was just so in the zone. I wanted like every episode or every video I was doing for that two week period. I wanted that to be just God of War. I wanted to just fill that whole space with God of War. But in that period of time, during that, on, I think it was November 11th, I hit 10 years on YouTube, on this very channel. As you live and breathe, bruv. It's been 10 years since you guys heard, war has changed. I've never lost it. YouTube's prime and only <laughs> Solid Snake Impersonator. But that's a pretty big milestone to hit. And it's even weirder to hit that and just not talk about it whatsoever. It, it snuck up on me. I, I thought, because technically the channel is from 2007. I made the channel then and made like the Jacksepticeye name and everything. That was just my gamer tag at the time. But I never did anything with it until the 11th of November 2011. Is... No, that's not the date. <laughs> November 12th! 2012! That's why I got confused. I said 11, 2011. It's 12, 2012. 2.3 million views. <laughs> Give a little a listen. War. And that's enough. <laughs> that's crazy to be on this platform for that long because I feel like I used to make these types of videos all the time. When we did any little thing on the channel, I would make a vlog saying thank you about it. And I think I did so many of them that people started to get tired of them. <laughs> so for a while I just, I was like, okay, for the really big things, I'll do vlogs and chat about it. But I miss just interacting with the community between everything that's going on with like YouTube comment systems. There's just being so many people on YouTube these days that it's hard to get any sort of feedback or connection through the comment section anymore. Cause it just doesn't, it just feels like a ball of people that are all saying the same things back to back. And that's a hard thing for me as, like a creator to look at that and see any sort of connection. And I really miss that. I feel like ever since like 2017, it's hard to find that sort of vibe on channels anymore. And maybe you could do it through the community post system. Maybe you could do it on Twitter, but we all know how that's going lately. That sort of bond that we had with each other has sort of dwindled over the years. And I hate that. I want to get that back. Doing God of War every day for two weeks. Finish that, do Somerville. Entire video, entire game in one video. Then we're doing Devil in Me. And we'll get that whole thing out. Then at the end of the, or in a few days actually, we're going to be doing Callisto Protocol. And then we have Dead Space Remake coming out in January. And I'm just, I love that idea. I love getting back to like the roots of things and really feeling like you're you're putting out series that everybody's just on board with and everyone's having fun with. I want to spend 2023 getting back to that sort of vibe just between us. I don't give a fuck what everybody else is doing. I don't care what anybody else is doing on their channel. I care about us. And I feel like I haven't had that sort of drive and ambition and passion to care about that aspect of the community in a really long time. And some of that is on me trying to get a better work-life balance and trying to kind of pull myself away because listening to feedback from people for so many years, doing 10 years of this and having so many people tell you things about yourself, I feel like I listened to them a bit too much for a while and then trying to find a better balance like enjoy my personal life a bit more, but then you lose that sort of connection. I miss it. I miss the old days. Instead of bemoaning about it and being like, oh, it's not the same anymore. How about we do something about it? How about we just sit down and we record Let's Plays, get that energy back, get that fun back in the channel. Just record some dang video games, you know? Love it! But seriously, thank you, everybody who's ever watched my channel. I don't even care if you started in the very beginning, and then completely fell off. I don't care if you haven't watched in the last like few years or months or weeks or days. I don't care if you're here from the very beginning all the way to the end. Well, I do care about that because that's that's 10 years worth of dedication and you deserve to be recognized for that. Just anybody that's given me a shot on YouTube, anyone who's watched this silly Irishman in a log cabin in the woods for years or even for one video, everybody added to the channel. Like, how, how many views does the channel have in total? We have 15.7 billion views 
on this channel. We have 5,000 videos. I don't do that for the good of my health. As much fun as YouTube is to do, and it is still really, really fun, and I enjoy doing it more than anything else in my life, I can't keep doing it if people aren't watching, if people don't care about the stuff that I'm making. So 15.7 billion of you, like those are individual views each time somebody has decided to click on my channel and watch a video. And that is no small thing. I'm hugely grateful for that. And I always try and remember where this channel has come from and why I started it and why I enjoy doing YouTube in the first place. And being here 10 years later, I don't think any of that has changed. Sure, the channel's bigger and I've, I've, change how I do things slightly and I have like cloak and top of the morning and all these other things going on and it's a bit more extracurricular than when I started in the log cabin and things are way bigger than I ever could have been on my own but I still like to think that 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 kid who's just enjoying having fun recording video games and I still love video games so much that I play them in my spare time all the time. I can't stop thinking about playing video games. I try to put that passion back into my work all the time. I hope that it shows. I, I hope that people still believe me when I say that I really enjoy doing what I do and that I've never lost sight of why I started doing it and trying to keep sort of my motivations and my morals in check. And I really have tried my best. I mean, not all the time. Obviously, you can't try 110% every single day. That's exhausting. Between all the, the trials and tribulations and trying to figure myself out and taking breaks when I needed them and having people still be here when, when you need them is, <laughs> is so crazy to me. The fact that I can upload 15 parts, two-hour episodes every day of God of War, and it's like two million people have watched basically every single episode of those. Like that first episode of God of War hit number one on trending. Not the gaming trending, just trending in general. And to be able to upload bangers like that, even after doing it for 10 years, is not something that a lot of people can say. And to have a community that are still so tight-knit and still so positive and into what you're doing and just along for the ride and having fun is a very, very hard thing to do. And I'm very proud of us for being able to do that. A lot of that comes from you guys as well. And the fact that we can sit down and do Thankmas every year, which is coming up December 10th. If you didn't know already, Thankmas is still happening again. But the amount of charity streams we've done on this channel and the amount of money, I think we're up over $12 million raised for charity in total now for all the streams that we've done over like the last four years. And I think that that's pretty incredible. So thank you, celebrate yourselves. Round of applause to everybody at home. It's terrific. I love doing YouTube. I love interacting with this community. I love making content. I love trying to make it the best I can. And I have so many ideas for what I want to do next year, how to like expand stuff beyond just my channel with like ego projects, the Iris thing that we did. Um, just building out huge ideas like that, but also just doing more fun stuff on the channel, getting together with friends in person and like, I've, I have a bunch of ideas for things that like going to LA and filming stuff with friends there that I want to do and make 2023. I really want to make 2023 the year where we, like me and you in this community, feel connected again. And that really excites me. I have like a fire in my belly that I haven't had for a really long time. And who knows where it goes? It could fail miserably. It could be amazing. I don't care. I'm just here to have fun and bring you guys along for the ride and see what happens. I could have prepared something remarkable and done something crazy but I feel like just sitting down and chatting with you and telling you how thankful I am for everything you've done for me over these 10 years is way more on brand for me but thanks Mwah. love to you all smooches 2023 it's gonna be a big year this year isn't even over yet really excited thank you love you bye